Icebergs. Lots of ice in the water. This is Tracy Arm Fjord. There's gonna be some that are clear and some that are blue. Uh, no oxygen, they're very dense, they're like concrete. Don't wanna hit them. And then when we come up to them, some of them, um, you'll be able to see that they go, you know, they're bigger underwater. So some of them we might not be able to get as close to as others. So, no, so when you come into the entrance, right, you got your two buoys and you gotta be careful because you can't trust them because ice will get them and move them. Right, so they can be a quarter mile out of position. What's that? Yeah, just birds right in the water? Just birds. Not birds. Birds. Not birds. Not birds. Not birds. Not birds. Not birds. It's usually pretty clean, but I was hauling in here at 27 knots as it was getting dark last week. And then I saw this, like, maybe the one about the size of two basketballs. And it was clear and floating. And I was like, all right, slow down. You see that little baby glacier over there, yeah? Or iceberg? That's a clear one. The one way over there? No, look to at like 11 o'clock. I'm saying it's right in my way. Because that's stuck on that shoal right there. Like, if this was low tide, that that would come all the way out. What's the tide right now? High, fully high. It's coming up still, I think. Are you going to cut the corner right here? You can't cut that corner, it's rock. Teasdale was going to take care of shit. What are you drinking? Oh, that's hot. Whew. Gotta drink some more to, you know, cool my mouth down. How do you drink coffee? That's so hot. We continued south through the ABC Islands of Alaska, Admiralty, Baranoff, and Chickagoff. Part of our cross-fit training right here. Right here, yep. We didn't come here to get small, Brad. And through the Tungus National Forest. We hiked, visited natural hot springs, 
and stopped in Cake, where we met Fallon, who taught us a bit about the Tlingit culture and showed us the largest single tree totem pole in the world. <laughs> And that just means in English they call me Thal, in Shingit my name is Kashachtla. I am of the Eagle Moiti and Tsagwedi clan. I'm the child of a Watsinadi, which is my father's clan, and the grandchild of a Kachadi, which is my maternal grandfather. I come from the house that anchors the village, and I'm from Kingdom. It's said to Osaka, Japan, to stand for a year at the World Expo. And when it got to oh. um, the equipment to raise it and I don't know we're called the town that never sleeps so I can you can imagine what a large event this was. Eventually we arrived in Ketchikan where the boys had to leave to head back to school and we were joined by Sam who stayed on for the rest of the journey. I didn't realize. Can you believe we're leaving already? We just got here. It feels like that. Sure did pick a beautiful day to leave. Best day of the whole week. I know. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful morning in Ketchikan. We're up bright and early here. We're trying to get out to beat the wind as we cross the Dixon entrance to go into Canada where we'll clear customs down in Prince Rupert. How many miles are we going today, Cap? 179. Oh. over 100 miles for the next six days of the journey down the Inside Passage, which took us to remote places and also the cities in Nanaimo and Victoria on Vancouver Island. trip all the way from Juneau to Seattle. We're just about home.
We docked Luff safely in Seattle after a successful 1,200 mile trip. Thanks to Travis and Leah for allowing me to join on such an amazing adventure.